welcome back to the channel. We are Christy and Nicholas, and today we are in Moonduke, Bali, which is in the north of Bali. And today is actually the day before Niepi, which is a national holiday, well, a Balinese holiday celebrated here in Bali. And basically, Niepi is a day of silence. So basically, on Niepi, nobody is allowed to leave their house. You can't turn the lights on. You're supposed to keep the curtains shut and basically just stay inside for an entire 24 hours. So we decided what better place than to come celebrate Niepi up here in Mundo. just checked in at Nadia Homestay which is in the center of Munduk and it's a cute little homestay you have like cabin style villa here and then we are staying right back in this one which super nice super clean and look at this view I mean what the heck just left our place to find somewhere to eat and we wandered down this little alley in the center of Munduk and found this super cute little place called Aris Warung and so we are here now and the woman who owns it is in the kitchen cooking and here are her, her sons who are watching our YouTube videos right now because they saw us filming and yeah found out we had a YouTube channel. So their menu has a ton of different local Indonesian dishes like rendang bavi, kare ayam, nasi goreng, of course, which is what Nika ordered. <laughs> and then gado gado, which I ordered, and that's my favorite. It's basically vegetables with peanut sauce, and they have a dessert menu. Hello! Wow. <laughs> the you. chef! Thank you! Jensen, uh, have, have road here. Yeah. Made Warung in RS Homestay is a local family run restaurant and accommodation with the most generous and kind people. Mama Aris does all the cooking in the Warung, preparing everything from scratch when you order, and will serve you a delicious home cooked Balinese meal. She also took us exploring around Munduk, showing us her coffee plantation in the hills. The artist family invites you to come stay and eat with them on your next trip to Munduk. Pause this video to take down their contact info for bookings. We just got back to the homestay and the host here brought us over some traditional Balinese clothing so that we can go to the ceremony that starts at 5 p.m. tonight. And Nico's just testing it out to see like how he wears everything. So this is for, this is the sarong. And what is the other, what is this one for? I think this is for the, like the hat. For the head? Yeah. Try. Put one. Put your shoes. Yeah, I put sandals. I feel like you can. <laughs> this is really. <laughs> I'm serious. Look what the shoe is. <laughs> wow. Well, it turns out we were wrong, and this does not go on the head. It goes here. Ch charong, like a, charong. This. A belt of sorts. Now we 
are ready for the ceremony. Exciting to see the Ago Ago again yeah. and I hope this is for the beginner, for the starting, for the new world, the new normal. end of the ceremony with we, the burning demons yeah. but we yeah. met our friend Katut and we are hanging out here under this this roof with Katut yeah just talking chilling good times huh So today is Nyepi day and basically the whole day we've been just lounging around, we took a little nap and now we are having a snack. As you can see we like packed the fridge full of stuff which actually most of it we've eaten right now. We have some hummus, we had some bread earlier and some benteng and rosé and some eggs, which we actually ended up boiling this morning in the hot water pot. We made hard boiled eggs. And then also like some fruits, avocado, and nuts. And our food supply is pretty much almost out. Right now, Nico is outside on the neighbor's porch. Well, actually no one's here because we have the place to ourselves. But this one has a nice view. So he is eating the pineapple. So good, good pineapple? Oh, so good. Nice. <laughs> right as I bit into the pineapple, there was a dog somewhere over there behind that fence that just made like the craziest growling noise. How is Nappy going for you so far today, Nicolas? 
easy. Relax, enjoy the nature. Eat the fruit. Nothing bad. Nico is back here eating again because right when he finished all of his fruit, the owner of the homestay came and brought some nasi goreng and also some like fried spring rolls. But unfortunately, mm. since I'm allergic to gluten, I can't eat it. So Nico gets to enjoy all of the food to himself. So good. Cheers. Cheers. So we're having a little wine cerveza happy hour right now. Because in about six hours, five and a half to be exact, actually at midnight, the town wakes up and everybody comes outside of their houses and grills in the street. And this is a tradition that is traditional to Munduk. We actually didn't know about this before we came, but we're super excited. Apparently it's like a big party in the streets after to celebrate Nyepi. Well... Currently it is 11.45 p.m. and we just woke up. We had every intention of going, but it is dumping rain. You can see this is literally like rain particles in the air. morning guys today is the morning after Nyepi and last night unfortunately we fell asleep and we did not get to go into the town and experience the cooking in the street also we're not really sure if it ever stopped raining so it may not have even happened yeah we did hear a lot of fireworks throughout the night which was super cool so people were definitely celebrating but above all, Lundvik was an amazing place to celebrate Nyepi because it's just so tranquilo. There's, yeah, you're just surrounded by nature. And also it's like a very traditional village. And so when we were at the parade on two days ago, we were pretty much like the only other tourists. There was, yeah, we didn't see anyone else and everyone welcomed us with open arms. So definitely keep Moondrick in mind next time you're in Bali for Nyepi. We will end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and like this video so you don't miss our upcoming Bali videos. We'll catch you later.